Time. Welcome, everyone. I'm Ron. This is Ageless Balance. We are going to be standing for the entire entire show today. Let's call it a show. For the entire show, we will be standing. We will do a little bit of cardio, some low impact, get that heart rate up just a little bit, then bring it back down again, give you a chance to catch your breath, and then we'll Go back into another one, a short one. We're going to be trying to get that heart pumping just a little bit more, get the oxygen in the bloodstream, get it into the veins, get it all over the place, into the organs. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. And out to the side. Just a little moves. Just tap for right now. We're just warming up. The hips out to the side and over and over. little tap. Get your balance on that single leg. Make sure you feel the foot flat on the floor. Flat, foot flat on the floor. That thing. Peter Piper. Tap out. And out. So you're finding your balance right now for this part. Nice small move. Step out and in. Out and in. This is just the warm-up. We haven't even gotten into the hard stuff yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. Give me a second. Give me a second. And shake that out. We're going to do just a little bit of a forward lunge. Out and back up. So what we're trying to do is get the motion, the movements, the motions, the movements that we're going to be doing for the faster stuff. Make sure we got it down first. So practicing that, foot forward, push off the heel, come back, out, and back in. Take your time, pick that front leg up as it comes back, balance on that other leg, that stance leg, and bring it back one more time up, and back, out to the back, into a reverse, Step, roll the hip underneath. So bring the hip underneath, push up through the heel, the front foot, and bring the other one up. And just swing it up. That back leg, front leg does all the work. You're going to feel that if your weight's in the heel or the back half of the foot, you're going to feel it all the way up that rear chain, through the calf muscle, through the hamstrings, in the back of the thighs, and into the glutes. Back and up, out, and back up again. All right. First thing we're going to do is just a wide and narrow. This is the fast stuff. It's not really fast. Here's the deal. You go at the pace that's right for you. You want to get up on the balls of the feet and bounce on this one? You should. You should do that. If you can, fantastic. This is an agility move. If that's not right for you, step out, step in, bring the knees up a little higher, make it a little harder so that you can get that heart rate up. We've been doing this for 15 seconds already. Out and in, out and in. So maybe try this a couple times, picking that foot up. Make sure everything's staying forward. Start to get tired a little bit. You step out. See if you can stand the balls of the feet, keeping the heels up off the floor as you do it. Even if you're not running or bouncing quickly, you can still get those feet going. Heels up, still an agility move. And if not, out, flat foot, step, step, and back in. Out and in, out and in. That wasn't too bad. Five seconds. Back, out, and back. Last ones. And we are done with that. Just take a side step. Hands on the thighs, going into just a little bit of a squat. Push up, bring it back in, other side. Out and down. Whenever we take these little breaks, breathe deep through the nose. Open up the lungs by pushing the stomach out. Getting the air down into the lower part of the lungs. Getting it into the bloodstream from there. Down. Take your time with this one. We got fast stuff happening here for just a minute. So so just hang on. Down and up. One more time. Step out. Other side. All right. I'm going to start healed. Heel digs like that. Out and out. Again, how fast you go is up to you and your body, but you want to make sure that as you bring that heel out, knee stays bent and bring it back in. Out, out. We're going to add to that. Arm out, switch. Alternating arms pushing out. Upper body, lower body working together. 
Stretch the shoulders out so we're getting range of motion in here at the same time. Keeping the heart rate up just a little bit. And out, out, and out. Both arms if you want, pushing. Go a little faster. See what you can do there. Coming out on the heel, tapping, and back in. 10 seconds left of this. And push, and push. Three, two, one. Oh, we're good. Step out to the side, arms back, bring it in. Out, take your time, but back. It's a hip hinge, it's a hip hinge. Back and up. Every time I say that, it makes me think of Christmas story when uh, the furnace goes out and it's a clunker. Back and up. Never mind. And back. Used to watch that with the kids every year until they said, We're sick of it, Dad. When they were little, they loved it, but it's like they got to that age where it's like, it's not funny anymore. It's just old. Step out and in. Back. Push it back. Bring it in. And we're good. Butt kickers up. Bring the heels up. Squeeze it together at the same time. Shoulder blades back. Knee points to the floor. So here's what you can do. You can make this into a run if you want, bringing those heels up, and then you don't have to use the arms. But if you're just bringing one foot up at a time, not going into that run, use the upper body too. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, stretching out the chest, stretching out the shoulders, making those muscles, those posture muscles, 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 muscles in the back, upper back work. Back and back. Again, if you want, heels up. A little wider, you can go a little faster with it. You don't even have to get the uh, run in there. You can just bounce side to side or just like this. But there's 10 seconds left of doing it. Whatever you do, it's 10 seconds left. Up and up. All right, here's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to do a right, left, right, and hold on that third count. So it's right left, right comes up, hold right there, and then left, right, left, heel up, balance, other side, one, two, and three, hold, and back. You need a chair for this? You should use it. If you feel like you're unsteady at all, get yourself into a chair, hold it right on the side, hover over the, the hand over the back of the chair if you need to, up, one, Two, three, stop, one. That's the hardest part, moving, momentum, taking you off to the side and having to stop on a single leg, all kinds of core and glutes going on there. Feel it in the outside of the hips and up, back down. We are done. One, two, three, right there. Step out. What are we doing this time? Hold on, skaters, what am I doing? Out, what am I doing? And around, step back. Put around, take your time. Nice and slow, step back. Back and up. Back and up. And with this, arm swings, shoulder blades back. So I'm giving you a chance to cool off. We're gonna go back to those butt kickers one more time. Once you've had it, what we're going to do is you're going to keep doing the butt kickers until I say hold. And when I say hold, you better hold. You better do that. See if you, without knowing, it's easier when you know that third count is going to be a hold. But when you don't know when it's coming, I won't even know when it's coming. All right, you ready? Butt kickers. Take them back. Heel up, up, and up. And just do a few of them. Maybe speed it up a little bit. Make sure that knee's pointing to the floor. Heels coming up as high as you can get it. And up. Working those hamstrings. Stop. Whoa. Stop. I couldn't do it. Let's go. Try again. I surprised me. It's like I say stop and I don't even know it's coming. Up and up. As fast as you need to go. As fast as you're comfortable going. Just get the, mo Ooh, get the muscles working. Get the heart beating. Stop right there. And start again. Whew. It's hard. It's hard. But if you can do that, if you can do this and make that stop when you need to, you're going to be able to protect yourself if you're out and about. 
and you trip. Whoa. You can stop it and bring it back again. All right, a couple more. Bring it up, stop. Hold and go. Problem is I've stopped on the same leg every single time. So this time I'm not going to do that. So we go stop. And take it down. Sit on down. Grab a drink of water. Take a break. Take a rest. I forgot my drink of water. I need to get my drink of water. See, Gene, when you said that I forgot to put on the list water, yeah, I forgot mine too. Because it wasn't on the list. I sit down for a second. Shoulder blades back. Heels up. Do a couple balance strength exercises. So the, the normal. Heels up. Ball of the foot on the floor, inside to outside. Right straight up. Feel the calf muscles working. And back down again. Bring it up. Weights in the ball of the foot, not in the toes. Toes are for balance, so you can feel the floor there. Back down, but you won't need them for right now for balance because you're, you're seated on the chair. Out to the edge of the chair, so you're working the core muscles. Keep those shoulder blades back. That's what you're doing. Up. And back down. A couple more. Bring it up. Hold it up there. Tighten up those muscles. Feel them working in the back of the leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And back down. So what you want is almost having a Charlie horse back there. That's what you're looking for. That kind of that kind of contraction back there. And then just as it's about to give, legs back down again. Toes up this time. Bring them up. Work in the front. The front of the leg. And back down to the lower leg. Those muscles around the shin bone. Bring it up. Straight up. Knees, toes, hips. All in alignment. Up and down. Even the shoulders. Shoulder blades are back. Staying in that neutral position. So just come up. You can feel it. Top of the ankle. Top of the foot. Coming up the leg. It starts to get a little, little tired. You feel the muscles burning just a little bit. You can drop back down again. But bring them right back up. And down. It's that burning that you feel in the muscles. That's when the muscle's breaking down. That's when you're getting that, that build up back again. When you can break them down like that, they will build stronger. Like Steve Austin, the $6 million man. Bigger, faster, stronger. Up. And back down one more time. Bring it up. And back down. One leg out. I'm doing left. Roll the shoulder blades back. A little bend in the knee. Toe back. We're going to stretch those calf muscles that we just used. So the shoulder blades are back. You want to feel this lower half or the back of the lower leg from the heel all the way up to just below the knee. So I'm really tight in those muscles behind the knee right now. So I'm really careful with that. Those pull easily. So you want to take, take your time if you're feeling that. Move, maybe bend the knee just a little bit more. So you're Focusing all of that stretch in that lower part of the leg, those calf muscles. So just hang in there. Remember, you want two times, at the very least two, possibly three, for 30 to 45 seconds. Again, 45 is optimal if you can. So two times, 45 seconds each. And bring it up. All right, foot relaxed. Again, that little bend in the knee. You're going to square yourself up with the toes. Shoulder blades back and come on down. Hip hinge right there in the front. You're at the edge of the chair. You're coming forward, keeping those arms back, keeping the shoulder blades back and leaning into it. Move around again, above the knee to the butt, into those glutes. That's where you want to feel the stretch. We use those muscles heavily when we did those butt kickers, using those calf muscles to bring that lower leg up. So now we want to stretch them out a little bit. They're warm. They want to be stretched. They'll take it. They'll be happy with it. Other side. Other leg. Toe in. Shoulder blades back. Again, squared off to the foot. Shoulders with the floor. And come down. So what you're preventing against is this twist as you're coming down. Because what normally happens is when you reach for the toe, that exercise that everybody does, that reach for the toe, they turn their shoulders so they can get closer to the toe, and then they lean their back forward at the same time. Rotation and bend at the same time is just asking for back pain. So lean into it, 
Calf muscle only. Toe back. Move that knee around a little bit so you feel it just from below the knee. And if you're not, if you're only feeling about halfway up the calf, then drop that knee down just a little bit more. You'll feel the stretch start to come up the leg. Stop when it gets right under the knee. Hold right there. And relax. Foot out, just flapping around there. A little bend in the knee, shoulders back, find that neutral. And this is really important when you're doing these stretches, getting those shoulder blades back and chest out. That's where you're going to feel all the stretch happening in that leg is when you can get yourself back like that. Because if you just drop the shoulders down, that stretch goes away, which is why a lot of people lean into it nose to knee. It's because it's easier, but it's not stretching anything. So keep those shoulder blades back, staying parallel with the floor, going right down towards that toe. Hold in there. We got 10 seconds left. So we've got as we did at one time on each side, 30 seconds each. We had the time today, so we took it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And relax. Go ahead, stand up. We got more to do. This time I want you to have the chair. Please use the chair. Stand next to it. First thing we're going to do is just nice, easy, foot forward, foot back, up. So what you're, what you're making sure you don't do here is when the foot goes back, you go forward. When the leg comes forward, you go back. We're not working that hip at all. So we want to make it forward and back, working the glutes when we pick the foot up or bring the foot to the back, using these hip flexors when we come to the front, quads and hamstrings, those thighs are working both ways, up and back, up. See if you can get a little higher with it. You're looking right out in front of you. Make sure that stationary leg, you've got a little bend in the knee. Keep the hips straight. You want to be right over that stationary leg. This is a balanced strength exercise too, by the way. Back. Like when we do those out to the side things, it's one of those. Up and back, except front and back. Up and back. And here's how we're going to add to that. Knee extension in the front. Bend the knee, bring it back. So it's up, out, in, and down. Don't just kick as you're coming forward. That leg comes up. The knee gets up there, and then you extend at the knee in and back down. It's an exaggerated step is what it is. Back, we're practicing gait here. Again, make sure you've got the shoulder blades back. You're staying in neutral position. That stationary leg should be feeling it about now. Up, <coughs> excuse me, and out. Back in, out, in, and back one more. This time, as you do that, you're coming forward, extend at the knee, and then Tap the heel. Hold on to the chair so you've got that. What you're doing is you're bending. You're bending that stationary leg, that knee, as you come down to bring you down. Pushing through the heel. Bring it back up. Knee in. So it's up and out. Tap the heel. Notice how this is just like walking. Back and up. When you take a step, <clears throat> excuse me, it's coming off that back toe. Out forward, extending that knee, tapping at the heel and going down. But we're just doing this right now. Up, extend, and back. One more time. Up and back. Okay, same thing. Leg back, leg forward, extend, heel on the floor, toes down. Stay right here. We're going to go into a forward hip hinge. So we're going to take shoulder blades back, chest is out. Coming down over that leg, pushing back up, <clears throat> foot up, in, and back. Out, heel on the floor, into a hip hinge, butts back, stretching those hamstrings. Push back up, lift the leg, and back. Two more, out, <clears throat> excuse me, and back. We're really dusty here. Down, into that hip hinge, bring it up. And you're there. Here's what we're going to do this time. Up, out, heel, up, back, toe, reverse lunge. So you're stepping back this time, pushing up, knee at 90. Come forward, extend at the knee, forward lunge, up, 
and back, toes, push up and heel. Up, in, back and down, up. So we're strengthening the muscles, plus we are really pushing the brain, teaching it what the individual pieces of a step are. Working on the brain for those, because they really are, they're lunges, every one of them. People say they don't like lunges, they can't do them. You do every time you walk. And back, up, and forward, up, and back. All right, here's where we're going to go next with this one. Stepping back, heel on the floor, bring yourself back into a stagger. We're going to do a down, heel up, heel down, heel up. So work on keeping the torso upright and roll the hips under just a little bit, but we're really concentrating on that heel down. Feel the muscles working all the way down that back chain and up, down, and up. So we went from on the toe tapping to bringing that heel down and up, put it all together and you get this up to the toe, knee at 90, extend out to the front, heel and tap. There's so much to walking. It is, it's, it's like riding a bike though, once you learn it. Up, forward, extend, heel down, foot on the floor, push back. Up, in, foot back, toe, heel, lift. Up, forward, and down, last one. Up, and back again. All right. Gonna do just a couple things with this side. Bring the foot up, hip tuck. So what you want you to do is bring the leg up in front, roll the hip underneath, getting that leg up. Shoulder blades are back, putting yourself in kind of an exaggerated neutral position. So a little bit of hyperextension through the back and then back down again. Lift the leg, knee comes up, roll the shoulder blades back, feel the tuck in the lower abs. Those muscles are tightening up to bring the hip forward. And then you're back down again, up, squeeze it, and back down, a couple more up, squeeze the hip, roll it underneath, and back down. Hip flexors right here in the front of the thighs where you should be feeling that, or in front of the hip. One more time, up, squeeze it, shoulder blades back, tuck the hip, and bring it back down into a stagger. What we're gonna do here, foot back, is that hip we thing we did, we're gonna do it again. Heel up, roll the hip, just like you did when you were standing, squeeze the glutes, hamstrings, roll that hip forward, and then back down again. Up, roll up into it, and back down, squeeze, bring it forward, and back, using those lower abs, using those hip flexors to do the work here. And then where we go with this, ready? Heel up, roll the hips forward as you do, bring that leg up into a tuck, out and down. Heel up, knee comes up, back behind, step and down. One more time, roll the hip, come underneath, roll, push up through the hips, and then lift the heel, lift the toe, bring that knee up, exaggerate this movement, extend, drop down, toe down, and back. Up, knee up, squeeze, take it back, toe, heel. We should do the other side. Just take a break though for a second. Let's do four steps side to side. Just to cool off, give those muscles a break. Step to the side, dozy doe, line dancing or square dancing or whatever it is they do in barns. Over, take four steps, take it easy. Make sure you got the toes forward. Heel comes up first off the ball of the foot, step to the side and in, slow, small. Just make sure you're picking that leg up. That's the most important piece of this. Over and over, last one. One, two, three, and four. Shake it out. All right, that was, a, that was me shaking it out. All right, other side, knee at 90. Little bend in that other knee, make sure the foot's flat on the floor, hang on to the chair, 
90 degree and the elbow or in the elbow. Yeah, the leg elbow, the knee. Up and back. You know, I've been doing this long enough. You'd think I'd have those body parts down. Actually, I've been alive long enough. You would think I would know the difference between a knee and an elbow. I blame my parents. Up and back. <clears throat> Hip flexor, lifting that leg. Back knee at 90. Up. Feel the glutes working. Don't lean forward. Don't tighten up that leg. Don't let that stance leg. Don't let the knee straighten out. You want to have just a little bit of a bend in it. And this time we're going to take it up and out, in and back. So how high you bring that leg, how high you bring the lower leg is really based on your muscles, how much how flexible they are, how much range of motion you have through the joints. Back, up, forward, in. Not too bad. Feel the muscles stretching out a little bit. We took care of that up front, making sure that those muscles that we're using in this exercise were all stretched out. We warmed them up in the first part. Out. One more time, we're going to take the foot out, extend, and heel down to the floor. Tap. Up and back. So knee up, extend at the knee, bend that back leg. Don't go into the toes. Stay ball of the foot to the heel and back, up, out, down, in, and back again, Whew. take it out, step, bring it up, and back, a couple more, Whew. and down, push back, bring it up, and back, down, again, all right, this time, knee forward, or foot forward, heel on the floor, foot goes flat, you go into a hip hinge right here. Coming forward, feel the muscles stretching in the back of the thigh, push up, foot up, unbend the knee, get that foot behind you, up, out, down with the hip hinge, right here. Push that butt out as far as it'll go, keep the shoulder blades back, Back stays in neutral. Two more. Back. Up. Out. Down. Drop the foot. And push back up. Here we go. Last one. Down. Foot down. Hip hinge. Push back up. Bring it back. This time as you come back. Ball the foot. Right there. Push up, using that front leg, you're driving up through just like you're doing a lunge. Up, knees bent, out, extend at the knee, heel to the floor, going into that forward lunge, and then push off the heel, bend the knee in, step it back, and go into that reverse lunge or stagger step. Again, pushing up through the front leg, knee stays over the ankle, drive through underneath, pick it up. Knee comes forward. Extend at the knee, heel to the floor, foot on the floor. So right here, knee is over the ankle, you're between the two legs, and your shoulders are back, you're upright. And then coming back again, it's up, in, back, and down. Last one. Up, swing the knee forward, extend at the knee, on the heel, and down, and back, up, tap, Heel to the floor, right there. Now push up. Bring the heel up. Lift the heel. Pick the leg up. Knee up. Forward. Heel down. Foot on the floor. Take it backwards. Toe up first. Leg raises. Unbend the knee. Swing that 90 degree knee back. Bring the foot down. Ball of the foot. And on the heel, this knee always stays over the ankle through the whole thing. Up, forward, out, down, hip hinge, and take it back. Stay right there in the stagger step. All right, whole time, you're not looking at your legs. You're looking right out in front of you as you do this. First thing we're going to do is in that stagger step, just bring the heel up and back down again. Roll the hip. We can get that hip in there. Roll it underneath. Bring it up. 
and back down, heel up, your underneath, push up and back down. So this is the whole start of the step right here. You've got the leg behind you, you lift that heel and you're ready to put the weight into that front leg. And here we go, we're gonna do it, heel up, lift, knee up to 90, out and into that front lunge. Let me get back here a little bit, into that front lunge and then up, heel up, bend at the knee, take it back, step, heel down on the floor. So again, underneath, roll the hip, push up, lift, extend, drop, and back up again, and down. That's what happens each leg, every step you take. All right, here we go. We're going to bring the knee up, crunch it, bring the hip forward, and back down. Push up. Oh, we don't have to go back. Right straight down. Sorry. Up. Get that hip underneath as you bring that knee up. How high you can bring that knee up, again, is really, totally, your body's going to dictate where that goes, where those muscles are available for, what you can get for range of motion through them, up. And if I say motion for movement and motion together, which I do constantly, and back, you'd think I was old enough to know that that's not a word. One more time, up, roll the hips, and bring it down. Last two times, we're going to step back, heel on the floor. Heel up, push up with that front leg, drive that knee up as high as you can go. And then extend at the knee, forward, toe on the floor, knee over the ankle. Push up, come back, up, weights in the ball of the foot to the heel in the back, knee up, swing the heel back, step on the floor at the ball of the foot, come down on the heel one last time, roll it. If you take these exercises slowly, we're working those fine motor muscles as well as the big muscles, getting that smooth, smooth, smooth movement, working on it, practicing it. Whew. Grab a drink of water. Grab a drink of water. So again, what we did there is we took the whole step pattern, just walking, but that's what each step is. It's not as exaggerated. It's not as much. But if you can overdo it, if you can push yourself past where you go naturally, this is going to be so easy. Nothing to it. Feet flat on the floor. Knee comes forward. Heel comes forward. All right. We're going to stay up. We only have 10 minutes left. First thing we're going to do is just fast feet. So starting out, just bring the heels up, feet together. Pulling that foot up off the floor. Opposite arm, opposite leg. What you're going to do here is try to get up on the balls of the feet, bringing the heels up. Back of the chair is fantastic for this. If you feel like you're going to fall when you're up on the balls of the feet like that, going a little faster, grab onto the chair and then do it. Bring it up just a little bit more. I'd rather have you work on pushing off or the ball pushing off the ball of the foot with that knee in the or with that heel in the air. Up and up. You can go a little faster if you want. Up, up, up. And then you're going to stop. Single leg. Stay right there. Ready? Back into it. We're going to, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. Hang on to your chair if you want. Otherwise, it's up. Again, do it without the chair. I'm going to go back to the chair. Faster. You're going to feel this all through the legs, all the way up to the hips. Everything's working here. Up, stop, hold, and back down. Other foot up. Stay. And back down, up, stay off the heel on the back foot, holding onto the chair. If you're not holding onto the chair, then put that foot flat on the floor. So you got the knees up, heels up, and it's stop with that foot flat on the floor. And then other side, stop and back down. All right. Start out just a march here, right here, right here. Nice, easy march. We're going to do is we're going to take and as we pick the leg up rotate and turn coming back foot back and back so we're going to march in each direction so just this nice easy march picking up i'm taking that right leg it's coming around to the outside because i'm going to the left that back foot that back foot comes up so the legs are perpendicular the feet are perpendicular pick up that back leg Bring it side by side in an angle or at the side like this 
And now back, right leg up, rotate, other leg around, back to a march. So this is, again, if you get in a situation where you have to veer quickly, you have to turn, you need to be able to do that up and keep walking. And bring it back again, around and back. We should go to the other side. Start with that outside leg, bring it around and up. What you'll notice is you're going to pivot on that back foot. You're going to bring that heel up, rotate the heel, and then come down into that step again. So what we have this tendency to do is we can't pick the heel up. We don't have the ability. We have forgotten how to do that. And that's where you fall and you get your legs all wrapped up in each other. You need to be able to pivot off that back foot so that you can go right back into walking and bring yourself back again. Whoa. Other side. And back. Up. Step forward, going out to the right. And back. We're going to go to the left this time around and back. So here again, up on the balls of the feet, you do a little twist and turn a little bounce off of there. This is if you're, if you're able, if this is right for you, you can hold on to the chair and do this and back or just step with the balls of the feet and around. So I want you to be able to move on the ball of your feet because you're so much more agile if you do. You can make corrections. You don't drag the feet on the floor. Take it down. Trying to turn that foot without being able to pick it up or dropping it flat on the floor. You can pivot off that toe all kinds of ways. Makes you, makes you much, much, much more stable. False prevention, all about feet. Tandem stance, knee bent, heel to toe, like that. Find that first, just that. Ball of the foot to the heel. Both feet are flat on the floor. Hover, if you can. Weight is not in the toes. You're putting it right between. So don't shift backwards, putting all the weight in that back leg. Bring yourself to the middle. Be right between your legs. This is where you're safest. This is where you're most balanced. And from here, once you've got that down, if you're comfortable with it, and again, if you're not comfortable with that tandem stance, take the back foot, bring the toe up around next to the heel of the other foot. Give yourself a little wider base, makes you a little more stable, and you can slowly work it down a little bit at a time. Each time you do these, you can try to get just a little more limited base. All right, so from here, arms up overhead, roll the shoulder blades back. Stretch out the chest, keep those feet together. Mine were super wide because it was much more stable. It was much easier and down. So if you did that, if your feet started to get apart, that's fine. If that's where you need to be, if not, try seeing if you can get the heel to the toe again. So again, up, over the top, shoulder blades are back and back down. Feel the ankles work to keep those feet flat. That's what you concentrate on. If you can keep the feet flat on the floor, you're pretty good there. You'd be golden. All right, we're going to go out to the side this time. Up, over the top, and back down one more time. Stretch it out. Arms up, bend in the elbow. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out, looking right in front of you. Don't look at your feet. Don't look at them. They're there. And back down again. One arm. Take the arm over the, the leg that's in the back. Bring it up. Reach over, just a little bit of a bend, not a lot, not fast, and back down again to the other side. So this was not too bad because we are balanced on both sides. You got the right, you got the left, a little easier. Take one arm, get it away from the body. You've got that weight shift out, and then bring it up over the top. And if you can, see if you can just bend that elbow up over just a little bit. and. Bring it back down again. Toes work here. Toes are going crazy. That whole time, switch legs, you're doing this, those toes are gripping. You're going to feel it a lot probably as you're doing this because that's what they're for. They're for that balance. So as you lean forward or lean back or lean to the side, those toes are always adjusting. All right, arms up front. We got the feet switched up over the top. Just switching the legs makes this really hard. Just that piece until you get it figured out that you switched legs, different leg in front, 
Brain's got to figure it out with you. Up, over the top, roll the shoulder blades back. Looking right out in front of you, not down at the floor. Bring it to the sides. Up, up, whoa, and up. And back down again, two hands. If this is the best for you, if this is eh, kind of uncomfortable for you, don't go to the single arm. Just keep doing two arms. And back down, left arm. Up, over the top. See if you can get just a little bit of a side bend in there. And bring it back down again. Oh my gosh, I can really feel the muscles working in my legs to keep me level. And other side up, over, reach, and bring it back down. Again, we're done with that. A little balance, a little cardio, whole lot of fun, whole lot of fun going on. It's National Read a Book Day. Read a book today. I don't actually need an excuse, but now that I have one, I'm definitely going to use it. Check it out. Leg out. We're going to do one more stretch here. Toe up, knee bent. Bring yourself down, shoulder blades back. Looking for that calf muscle right now. Stretch it out a little bit. We'll take 15 seconds on each, each muscle group. Five more. Toes back, you're leaning into it, you're concentrating on that knee is bent just enough so you feel it right below the knee to the heel. Relax the toe, floppy toe, floppy foot, and shoulder blades back. Looking for the hamstrings on this one. Find it. And I'd extend the knee out a little bit more. So I had too much bend in it and I had no stretch, so I extended the knee out. And then rebent it, and it's a slow move. It's kind of like this fine tuning, and you'll feel the muscles moving where you're getting the stretch as you make those little movements in the knee. And back out again, other side, out, toe back. So I really want to stretch out the lower body because those last few exercises they were really hard on them. They worked them. Toe back, lean forward. So for me, this calf is much tighter than the other one. I always have that. One or the other. Into it and release. Toes relaxed. Forward. Hitting those hamstrings. Hit them hard. We're out of time. I really want to stretch the outside of the hips. And back up. Give me two minutes. Left leg out. Right ankle on top of the, of the shin on the left leg. Bring it up and let the knee just drop outside of the hip. I really want to stretch these muscles out. These medial glutes and outside of the hip are working hard for all of those exercises. Roll the shoulder blades back. Wherever your foot is, that's where it needs to be. When you bring the shoulder blades back, getting into a hyperextended upright position, feel those muscles out there. That's all you want. And release other side, same thing. What's really important here is that you don't let the stretch go anywhere else on this exercise or on this stretch. It's got to be just the outside of that hip. And there's all kinds of adjustment. All heel up, goes to the knee, then you can bring it up, walk that back foot or walk that lower foot up, heel towards the chair. This one you got to be careful with though. If you do get to this position, this is when you really start getting that hip flexor involved and you don't want that. You don't want the stretch in the front of the hip. Just the outsides. The piriformis. All right. We're going to go down. We're running out of time. Underneath. Lay on your legs. Bring it up overhead. Deep breaths. Really important here. In through the nose. Get as much as you can. Push the stomach out. Bring that heart rate down just a little bit. We worked a lot. And exhale. Bring it all back down again. We worked big muscle groups. Quadriceps. Glutes. Up over the top which means the lungs are going to have to work just a little bit harder. So you want to make sure you get all that out. Deep breath in, stomach out, oxygen into the bloodstream. Exhale as you bring the arms down and we're done. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Glad to see all of you here and I will see you again on Monday.